getting ready to uh, propagate some spider plants. I have this one here that's the variegated, and then I have this one over here that is the all green. And you can see I got lots of babies. So what I've done is I've taken this little glass planter. It's always better to use glass than plastic. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can either one start them directly in dirt, which is how I did this one. I just cut it off and stuck it in dirt and watered it really good, kept it really moist until it kind of got established and then um, watered as normal. But I'm going to go ahead and start a bunch of these in water so they'll root out and then I'm going to put them into little planters. So it's really a, a very simple process. I'm just going to cut each of these off at approximately oh an inch up the vine here and uh, same goes for the uh, the other ones here I'm just gonna cut them uh, just a little way up that long stem so let me get a couple of them going here and then I'm just gonna stick them in the water and uh, I'll show you that in a second so you can see on this one there's a number of shoots on each of them you can see this one, this one right here, this big one down here. Um, you could just go for the big one and leave the other ones and they will eventually become spiders on the new plant or you can cut them off. These two that are already in the water, uh, they were both on the same vine and I separated them. Uh, you can see they kind of float. Just drop them into the water like that and they will float. If you get a, a container that's about the same size as um, like a bottle top or something like that, they'll just sit because the leaves will catch and kind of hold it on the edge. For a big thing like this, uh, the reason I'm using such a large planter is because I'm going to put a whole bunch of these in here at once and they'll kind of all work together to hold each other up. And you can see here, uh, oops, I dropped that one. So it's full of dog hair now, of course. Um, you can see the stem on this one right here is where I cut it. Still got a lot of dog hair. There we go. Uh, right there is the stem where I cut it. So I cut it up a little higher uh, up the stem. Uh, this one right here would probably become another baby, but um, it will just become a baby off of this plant um, by cutting up there. I could have cut it really short down here. It doesn't really matter. It's really up to you. But you can see these kind of just float on top of the water and uh, they don't go down very far. And uh, I'll just kind of move some out of the way, poke that right in there. And uh, let's see, I'll move some of these out of the way so I can poke that right down in there. And all you need is to make sure that the end, the tip end of the little baby is just kind of submerged in the water a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way down in there, just touching the water. And uh, that's one way to get them started. And you'll notice in a couple of days there'll be little roots on there. And uh, then you can stick them in dirt. So now there they are. And uh, I've got some of the variegated ones in here. And I've also got uh, some of the plain green ones. They're all just kind of sitting in there. Some of them might drop down a little too far. Just pull them back up and they'll be fine. And... Uh, you can actually even let them grow just in the water. They'll do just fine like that. They'll get a pretty big root system down here. Um, they'll get all intertwined and tangled, but they would live just in the water. But uh, once they get a little bit of root going on them, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put them in some dirt. I'm gonna transplant these into some pretty small pots, actually. The ones that I'll probably put them in are probably gonna be about this size here, because I'm gonna be giving them away but uh, they'll be able to root up in those and then they can be transplanted really easy into bigger pots. So that's it. They're a very simple plant to work with. You don't even have to root them first. You don't have to put any kind of uh, root hormone in the water. It's just plain old tap water. And uh, that's pretty much it. So these will be nice little, nice little giveaway plants because I've got a ton of these all over the house so I really uh, I'm at a point where giving them away is the best way to deal with them.